How y'all doing? I'm Bill, and I'm here to talk to you about the importance of the importance of the importance of the way of the cowboy. What a lot of people don't understand. So, just how important cowboys are to society. And they are a dying breed. They are, I tell you, I tell you what. Without uh without cowboys you wouldn't have uh, bicycles. Proven fact. Look it up. Google. Uh just be yourself. It's a uh, I don't know what's going on right now. If you want to do something and uh, it won't hurt anybody, or if you're alone and you want to do something, just do it. I mean, not necessarily alone. I mean, I'm I'm pretty alone right now. But uh, I got a lot of cattle, and uh, got my horse. Bessie back there, pretty nice horse. She's a she's a Mustang. Bought her off of uh, John Wayne, or Bill Nye the Science Guy. Great people, real honest, hardworking men. Do you know that Bill Nye the Science Guy was a cowboy? Oh yeah, well he is. You know who wasn't a cowboy? Hitler. Hitler was not a cowboy. You see how he was. You know, cow cowboys are a dying breed. Not many of us out there left. So, I, uh, you know, you, people are always talking about wanting to be an astronaut or something like that. What the hell's an astronaut going to do for us? I mean, what is space if not just a bunch of space with a bunch of area with a bunch of rocks and stuff floating around it. Who the hell cares? You know, you can't learn a lot. <laughs> you you can't learn a lot from space. And I tell you what, you can learn a lot from the ranch. You can learn a lot from uh, cow manure. You can learn a lot from Grandma, you can learn a lot from grandma's buttermilk biscuits. Uh, uh, you can learn you can learn a lot of stuff from the from the ranch and being a cowboy. It's not, you don't necessarily have to be a cowboy. You could be a girl too. You could be a cowboy girl. Well, that's not the correct term. Uh, cowboy woman. You could be a cowboy woman. That's the correct term for a girl, for a female cowboy. Cowboy woman. You know, and you, you need the meat from cattle to survive. And you don't, you don't even have to worry about the... Uh, the bulls that much. You don't have to worry about the old heifers and stuff, you know. The bulls won't bother you unless you're trying to, well, unless you're trying to slaughter them. But you gotta do it sometime. Because, you know, ca cattle have all kinds of succulent meat up inside of them. All, their ribs are great. All kinds of great beef brisket in there. Uh, tenderloins. Ribeyes, oh, so you, you just cut it off of the freaking cow after you skin it, after you skin the hell out of it. You just start butchering it right in front of your little three-year-old kids. You know, show them what happens whenever they die. <laughs> it's it's just an important life lesson. <coughs> So, before, uh, 
I'm going to ramble off a little bit uh, too much here. This has been Cowboy Bill. God bless America. God bless our nations. Cowboys and cowboy women. And finally, God bless Jesus Christ.